Ladies and gentlemen, my name's Zips. Welcome back to Wild Frost. It is 3.30 in the morning. Uh, really should have recorded this earlier, but I don't got an earlier no more, so we're doing this now. Uh, don't expect the win streak to be <laughs> the very impressive win streak to be alive by the end of this. I'm pretty sure we are playing... Uh, snow dollars today for the today's name. I got no tin because uh, What's a pun I can do with this it is to be our Victory today is to be note Nah, I was gonna do like noted, but like no this sounds weird is to be no tin or uh <laughs> I'm gonna. I'll look. I'll keep going. Get, let me. Let me cook. If somebody were like, "What would you rank? What would you rank?" Uh. <laughs> help! Help! I, I'm. I'm being ran dry. I'm. I'm running myself dry. I got. I got fucking nothing. To, I got fucking nothing. Say. If somebody showed me, uh, <laughs> if some, I'll, I'm I'm still trying. If if somebody showed me a <laughs> a uh, uh, <laughs> uh <laughs> I'm really trying. Uh, if somebody by the name of Ten asked me if they, if I liked, if they, I wanted to go to the movies, I would be like, no, Ten. There we go. I, I found something. I, be honest. Do I say I, I'm gonna be honest? I don't fucking care. About, I don't fucking care. <laughs> I don't. I don't care about saving the gnome this time. Some shit about like the gnome always being the bride and not the bridesmaid. But not. Hardy, 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 freaking hardy. Or. I don't know. I'm at all. I'm. It's. It's Jover. Actually, it might be. It's a. It's not. It's actually looking a little. Slight. It's looking slightly Jover. Okay, I. Unfortunately for me, I can't kill this goblin. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not allowed to kill the goblin here. Unfortunate. I need to save because I. I need to use a scrappy sword there to kill a penguin. Unfortunate, but it is fine. So, after being confused, after. Pulling at straws to come up with a pun I can do with the name Noten. We are uh, gonna continue on. <laughs> Man, I, it is, I'm very tired, but I am gonna win this run or so help me. It is a shame we are playing Snow Dwellers today because Snow Dweller. Okay, never mind. We're gonna fucking. Oh, the, the gnome! The gnome! The gnome. This could have been a gnome run. God fucking damn it. Ugh. Man. Now what am I supposed to do? Play fucking like wart, chomp um, good units? Ugh. This disgusting. I'll play wart today. I don't think I will play. I don't think I'm gonna play Snow Charm just just yet. Uba Bear with Smackback is kind of redundant, honestly, because Uba Bear, it, even if hitting Uba Bear is already an unknown. I don't know why it's redundant actually. Um. It's redundant because Uba Bear is a bitch and he's just making himself an even bigger bitch. So it's redundant. Need a. God. My. I need a. I need a. I need to find help. 
I cannot be. I cannot. I cannot record this late. Cause I'm a. I'm. I am a. I'm a widespread conspiracy. <laughs> when I'm this tired. Did I take money? Did I not take money? Did I not take the path that had money on it? No, I must. I must have, right? Did I? Did I not? I must have. Did I? I. God, I hope I did. I re I really hope I did. Oh shit! I. That'd be really funny if I wasn't. Or if I didn't. <laughs> I meant. It look look we. Ooh, mobile campfire. I will take that. Show me like a Blunky or a Foxy. Preferably Blunky. Snuffle. Bomb Bomb. I'll take Bomb Bomb. Um, I mean, I can't really imagine there's anything I duplicate here. I guess I can just duplicate a snow stick. It's fine. It's okay. This, honestly, part of me would not mind, like, perspective picking the spikes, the spice stone here. If it did not have trash one. Trash one, it is actually just act, it is actively detrimental to our deck. So here, instead, I will be playing, we will just crown bomb bomb. And we should not really have a, I can't imagine we're going to have too much, too many issues this upcoming combat. Do I think I can probably not an, probably not going to be a new biscuit run. I think I'm just going to take a charm. Strawberry charm. Okay. I can't use it yet. But maybe we can find something good for it. All right, let's continue on. Ooh, Mini Mocha with Mini Mocha with the Acorn Charm is really nasty. I should play a little gauzy first so we can line up turn counters. I'm gonna freeze the Mini Mocha. Then I will play Mobile Campfire. And watch it just get... I make a sunrod here. Sunrod, unfortunately, it's sunrodding here means... Means my leader... Means my leader takes a little... Leader and bomb bomb take a little bit of extra damage. But I think it's worth it to save. To preserve the... To preserve the sanctity of this mobile campfire. And we really shouldn't have too many issues and walking out of this fight. I do want to try making sure Bomb Bomb is able to throw out a un is able to throw out another attack. It is actually quite hard to do. If not a little impossible. Um. I really want Bomb Bomb to attack again so I can get money. It is. Kind of gross here, actually. I could sacrifice a little Gauzy if I really wanted to. Oh, wait, no, I can't. Or, uh. I mean, like. I think I'm honestly gonna sacrifice a little Gauzy, because a little Gauzy's not that important, and I think a little bit of extra money is honestly gonna be better. So the way you do this is yeah, okay, we're gonna That was a, that was a complete wasteful that was a very wasteful Now looking at it, that was just in fact a very wasteful A very wasteful um Thing. A very wasteful scrappy sword there. All right now we just re now we just recall bomb bomb, 
and the money is looking a little bit better. Still not great, might I add. Still on the low side. Still on the financially unsustainable side. Okay, but we win this turn. Um... Alright, and I can do this to get a, a end off on a double kill. Nice. Alright. See, I, I do... I did know that... that it is nice because this early game is generally just going to be on the easier side. Man, if I just got that fucking gnome this time. Ugh. We do got Greed Charm Gnome. Ugh. I guess I could just do Greed Charm. I guess we can just play our line on. Okay. I'm going to take Greed Charm here. And we're probably just going to. Okay, come on. Show me, like, Blunky or Foxy here. Tiny Tycho? Uh, I can't really see it. I just can't. New one Bling Bing is kind of interesting, but not very good here. So, I'm never going to be able to... I very am, I am very unlikely to be able to get a crown here. I would have to get like a discount it, get the thing discounted. So in this case, do I take something like bomb bomb, or do I take something like hog charm for bomb bomb? Probably not. Honestly, I don't really see it. Yeah, no crown. Unfortunate. My only way of giving Tiny Tycho HP. Wait, I could have Hog oh, Charm Tiny Tycho. Fuck. What am I doing, man? What am I doing? I am not here today. I think a Nutshell Cake seems pretty decent here. I'm gonna take it. Nutshell Cake is nice because it's, it's it's a card that consumes, so we can give it Strawberry Charm. So I think that's pretty good. So do I just say Wart is my damage dealer? I don't... So the problem is I don't think Wart's that strong. I really don't think Wart is... All that great, but maybe it can be okay. Does have okay? I think I need to give more credit to Ward as like your main damage dealer. So I'm gonna try this. We will give this a shot. Yeah, let's let us see if this will be okay. Away we go. So now Wart will be dealing three, six damage every two turns plus the po and that's not counting poison. So it's five damage in total, which is enough to kill a jab joke. Very nice. I sent it. I basically just sentenced this Woodhead to death. By the way, I'm very sorry, Woodhead. Something I also like a lot about this run is that Woodhead is, or no, that Noden is a very decent damage dealer. Very, very solid. It is I am a little bit ner nervous about Ward this run, I will say. If only I fucking took the no man. Ugh. Ugh. I'm so I'm so disappointed. The one time! Literally the one fucking time. I don't like I don't go out of my way to save the gnome. It would it was a run where it was would end up being good. This game's bullshit. This game is out for me, man. This 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 game is out for me, man. I tell ya, it my entire life has just been people around It's just been like people around corners. 
trying to trying to extort me. Well, I'm not taking it anymore. I'm taking control of my own destiny. What the fuck am I talking about? Maybe we'll do this. Yeah, that's a that's a lot of survivability. Right here, I'm honestly just probably fine to just let mobile campfire bite the dust. <laughs> Oh wait, I could've just snow stick. Yeah, it's fine. Or it does good damage to single targets. Sack's very deep. Sack's very nice poison. We win this fight. Here, mud and head, I'll give you a little pick me up before you go to the big sheet pen in the sky. Alright, move moving on. Definitely this bottom path. Rack and pepper a bonker snow cake. Hey, okay, what if I saw snow what if I saw um nah. I was gonna say what if I saw like What if I imagine a world where I saw a... Uh, what item am I thinking of? Where I saw Wow my where I saw snow charm and then I took a bonker. Wouldn't that be really unimpressive? <laughs> I think it would. Okay, time to just continue on with life. We're able to get a lot of health. Honestly, part of me kind of wants to get. There's part of me that kind of wants to get this to Gazi. Here you go, little Gazi. You can be our tank for this fight. I don't know if it's right, but it's kind of fun. Look at this old Gazi. He's got this little Gazi. is a big Gazi now. I should probably just not play Bomb Bomb this combat. Um, nothing here. I need a snow cake. I guess I can just, like, put Wart ahead in turn counter. Fortunately, Wooly Drek will trigger. Um, that's annoying. Not the end of the world. I. Oh, God. Please. God, don't let Wooly Drek eat Teeth Charm, please. I am begging you. Oh, it's so fucked. Oh, it's so fucked. Oh, good lord. Good fucking lord, man. What the hell? This sucks. This shit fuck it. This shit fucking sucks. Not setting me up for my leader takes fucking six here. All right, so it's this is fourteen. Pretty sure this is lethal. This is lethal on the woolly dread. God damn. Thank goodness this build is really strong. And is able to is able to just push past is able to just punch past the all the all the health or all this all the teeth my leader take two here it's fine pop, pop. I will freeze this woolly drag then or I will free not no that woolly drag is dead I will freeze Bigfoot, and then we will be out to this fight. Or should be out of this fight. Look at all that poison the Big Blue has. Unfortunately, the Bigfoot does run away, which is a loss in the Econ. There's like an Econ here? What the hell am I- Am I playing goddamn... Uh, Auto Chess? I should actually play Auto Chess. I haven't played it. I've been wanting to do it. My brother plays that game all or TF no TFT. <laughs> Not auto chess. Uh, one, I need to play TFT at some point, because my brother plays that a lot. Alright, so we will not be purchasing anything from the charm machine. So instead. What am I crowning here? This is a build I would really really appreciate a uh, Sunbelt charge in. 
I think I'm always just gonna throw this on my leader. Or I could have thrown it on mobile camp. Or, eh. I think I like it more on my leader. So it's either gonna be Lumen Vase here or what I personally kinda like more, Nutshell Cake. Because then I could just make my leader very hard to kill. Or I could gain three extra damage with the loop by lumen basing by lumen basing with loop by lumen basing mobile campfire. I think I honestly like nutshell cake more. I'm gonna be honest. We'll do wart. Get down the deeds. Our damage this run is mainly just gonna be coming is gonna be mainly in the form of of this greed charm. I'm going to trigger this again. Goodbye. Snow is very annoying here. I would not I would like to not Ugh, I wish I didn't have to lose my uh, I really wish I didn't have to lose my block here because I really like to just block 12 damage that is such good value honestly I guess I can actually can and just like let wart I guess I can just let wart eat the eat the uh, eat the snow it's fine. Cause you get a ton you get a ton of value off of it. A huge 12 damage blocked with one little piece of block. Although would it be fair to call block little? Probably not. Block's very block can be very impactful. Not always, but it very much it very much can be. Also, this bomb bomb's gonna hit for fucking nothing. Only three damage. Sheesh. That is nothing. Take out the crank. Now we are fighting the next phase of Crunker. Which, hopefully, uh. Ooh. This is kind of awkward. I'm gonna move Wart up here. I guess I can do this. Hmm. We are killing those two. Oh, 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 that is bad. That is really fucking bad. That is, wow, that is bad. That is some badly timed shit. I. The only line I see here is that we lose mobile campfire. Oof, harsh. Very fucking harsh. Oh my god, what the hell, man? Fucking Grink is doing the in, man. Okay, thankfully my leader has a ton of health. We take out all the threats in this Like, I can't dodge this shit. I just have to, like, try to kill this guy. Or just freeze him a bunch, which I also can do. What the hell, man? Alright, get out of here, Crunker. My wart is too strong. What else would be good out of wart this run? I'd really like Truffle Charm, personally. Um... I can just, honestly, part of me could just, part of me kind of just wants to make my leader real, my leader really hard to kill. So we can just take Shell Charm there. None of the other options are very appealing. I'm going to take another Charm. Here we get. Fury Charm. Pretty worthless. I can throw that on Bomb Bomb though. Actually, do I throw this? On, do I throw this charm on Bomb Bomb instead? No one's at twelve, and you know, I can throw this on Bomb Bomb because I'm probably gonna be taking Bomb Bomb into the 
into I'm definitely gonna be taking Bomb Bomb into final fight. And I'll at this point I will just take Lil Gazi out of the build. This could have been a very this could have been a very neat a very neat tiny tacker run. But Wart is doing just fine. Yeah, just make our leader absolutely uh, um, insanely beefy. Now we have an equally beefy. Uh, ooh, wait, this could end really badly, actually. Alright, he is dead. I am likely able to just kill the... Um, I want to call in the enemies here so Bomb Bomb can just wipe the bottom lane. That's very good. That is super. That is super duper good. Yeah, we basically we basically win on this. We basically win the win this combat on this turn. Pretty pretty much. Not much. Not much. The enemies can do at this point. Once you kill, we got. Once you get. Once you get this ahead, there's really not much you can do. Should also kind of be said for the enemies that like now that we scaled up our money with Gre with greed charm, we Wart's just dealing crazy damage. All right. Uh. Oh wait, this that was a bad idea. All right, it's it worked out fine because it could have hit. You could have hit Burster there, and it would have been kind of annoying. But you're fine. And I, honestly, I'm just, we have so many snow sticks that this crab is not a problem. I think this run, this run, it plays by a theorem that I've been, like, trying to impl up, imply, or employ on, imply? <laughs> employ on some of my runs where it is not, or actually, more accurately, I want to try employing it because I haven't really been, but it's the idea that to have a, a successful like build in Wild Frost, it's you don't exactly just need one super overpowered strategy. A lot of like smaller strong strategies can work out well. This build is a good example. We could have hit like Blunk, Blunky or Foxy, or a, or we could have I could have like actually ran this tiny Taiko and it would have been like insane and insanely like could solo carry the run but instead we have a lot of we have some smaller stuff wart works very well on his own bomb mom is a great is a great will be a great take on final fight and we also have we have a lot of snow and nutshell cake is makes our leader very hard to kill that's like four things that are working towards our favor actually you know i went bottom path i really shouldn't have I really, I really don't think I should have. I don't think it was. I think top half honestly was better. Grabber. Fungo blaster, probably not. Can I take grabber here? Is it good? I mean, Wart's aimless, so it doesn't really do anything. Let's just continue on. Alright, Mega Mimic and Plum is a pretty annoying start. Just make the leader hard to kill. And I will just know the Plum. Do I need to do I need to use Snow Cake here? It really isn't. It's pretty decent to use. Neutralizing the Bigfoot, I think, is pretty nice. Oh my god, fucking Grink, what the hell? Uh, damn. Wow. This sucks. My leader cannot avoid... Okay, thankfully my leader has a lot of health, but the Grink... Minus one turn counter Grink means this Mega Mimic just kind of fucks you up. This Mega Mimic is going to deal seven to your leader. Thankfully, my leader has a lot of health. <laughs> Yeah, we need a... Oh, God, the Grank's not dead. Oh, shit. Uh, Snow, please. 
Alright, this works. <laughs> yeah, please just die. We do not need to deal with that any longer. Taking this guy out right now is good for us. Frizzle is not dead, unfortunately. Um, I will be able to kill things in the next turn. Or er, kill both, both big, both Bigfoot and Grizzle for a combo kill, which I think is, you know, is important here. All right, we're gonna take be able to take out a target here. I should take a screenshot of this wart. Well, not right now, cause the wart just got wart just got her pranked. Um. Honestly, I kind of want to freeze these Grinks. They're kind of annoying. They mean I... Alright. They mean Noden won't be able to... Noden will... I mean, Noden... Uh, this was a fucking waste. Because the Grinks just unthaw. What was I thinking? Okay. Oh my god, wait, what am I- Wait, what am I thinking? What am I doing, man? What the fuck? Oh my god, why did I- Okay, now I'm actually sweating. Why the fuck did I just let Bomb Bomb die? What am I doing, man? Oh my god, playing at- Playing this early has fucking- Playing this early is really- Oh my god, playing this late is- fucking killing okay thankfully bomb bomb still has bomb bomb is still a good tank just not an amazing tank okay oh god it's three turn and it's the one it's junk frost bomber is my minus one turn counter junk frost bomber sucks that shit is garbage that shit is ass to deal with. Okay, I will freeze crush cross crusher here. I would enjoy. I would enjoy doing this. Oh god, bomb bomb. I really hope you can last, buddy. Hit, hit. Um. Okay, I need to do this. Bomb Bomb is dead next turn. Oh, it'd be pretty annoying to lose Mobile Campfire here. Thankfully, Wart is 1 HP strong enough to not die to Frost Lancer. Okay, so I just do this. Ooh, yikes. Not cool, not cool at all. Um, so I'll put Frost, we'll just keep snowing Frost Jailer. I will be able to, so Frost Lancer is dead, thankfully. Oh God, I actually don't know if I can, I actually don't know if I can last long, I actually don't know if I can last long game against this Frost Bomber. I legitimately don't know. Because the Frost Bomber is just going to keep adding junk to my deck. And it's going to be doing it really quickly. Oh, shit. Okay. Let's hope for the best. Oh, my God. Ugh. Why would... Fucking trash. Ugh. It's, it's so god... It's so fucking awful. Okay, uh... I need to start stacking poison, more poison. Oh god, Wart, please just... Wart, please just end this fight, man. Please, god, just get me out of here. Just get me out of here. 
Oh, remember, I do need to take the screenshot for rewards. Here we go. Nice screenshot. Alright. I'm fine here. I overreact. I was probably overreacting. Man, fuck you. Fuck you, though, Frost Bomber. You're, you're a bit of a bitch. You made me think I was gonna lose this combat. But I... But I didn't. So I was wrong, but you were also wrong for being a for being a bitch. Alright, nice. Very glad we glad I just this run was a good lesson to me because so that I just need to accept if I think something isn't gonna be like super strong, I just need to accept that then it was like probably good enough. Cause like that run, I feel like uh a pass past me would just like try to really des like really look for something like Blunky or Foxy to be to put those tr to put Sun Charm and Greed Charm on. Nah, any literally like any decent unit is that hold holds those is gonna be able to like be a strong offensive unit. Okay, maybe, maybe not everything, but y you get the picture. So we're playing next time. Um. Ooh, I guess this leader is not awful. Long shots only is really annoying to play with, though. Hopefully, it will be okay. Anyway, that's gonna for the that's gonna for this episode of Wild Frost. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to like and or comment and or subscribe. While you're at it, share this video with your best friend or greatest enemy. I'll catch you guys later.